One big surprise on election night was in the Assembly District 36 Republican primary, a district primarily centered in neighboring Nye County. Our incumbent Republican James Oscarson lost that primary to Dennis Hoff, famous for an HBO reality show set in brothels that he owns in rural Nevada. Politics Now co-host Steve Sebelius sat down to talk with Hoff about the race today. Steve? Well, the second time was the charm for uh, Dennis Hoff. He ran a, against Oscarson as a libertarian in 2016, but lost. But this year, he ran as a Republican with a much bigger campaign, targeting Oscarson primarily for his vote in favor of a new business tax that was passed in 2015. Hoff was supported by Republican superstars, including Grover Norquist and Roger Stone. It was Stone who gave Hoff his favorite nickname, in fact. When Roger Stone said, Dennis Hoff is the Trump of Trump. He's a reality TV star. He's a series producer uh, on HBO, a series producer on Cinemax. He wrote a book that's going to be a, a movie. He's got, he's got money like Trump. Uh, he's flamboyant like Trump. That resonated with the people. They're, they're tired of these pay-for-play politicians. And that's who I was running against, the establishment. And the establishment doesn't like me because what, what, how does Roger Stone say it? You're going to be the truth teller in Carson City. Uh, a lot. Indeed, Hoff has been shunned by Nevada's top Republicans, including Governor Brian Sandoval and A.G. Adam Laxalt, who's the front runner to replace Sandoval. State Senator Michael Roberson, A.G. candidate Wes Duncan, and Senator Dean Heller have also distanced themselves from Hoff. But Hoff says he doesn't care, and an endorsement from Sandoval might even hurt him with Nye County voters because Sandoval proposed the 2015 commerce tax that got Hoff into politics in the first place. He says he's going to stand against taxes in favor of guns and for water rights in the parched desert of rural Nevada. As for his brothel ownership, Hoff says legal prostitution is licensed and regulated. It's illegal prostitution in places such as Las Vegas that creates problems such as exploitation of women and sex trafficking. And believe it or not, Hoff says he earned women's votes in his primary and expects to do so in the general too. After all that fiasco with Donald Trump and grab people, blah, 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 no woman would ever vote for Trump. Okay? Uh, they told their husbands, they told their ministers, I'll never vote for them. Well, the same talk was about me. Until they get in the ballot box, in, in the booth, and say, wait a minute, this guy's going to fight for my taxes, he's going to fight for my guns, he's not going to get bought, he's not going to sell me out. You know what? Uh, the fact that he owns some brothels along with 20 other businesses, Hoff. And that's what happened. Well, Hoff will face Democrat Lisa Romanoff in the November 6th general election, but Assembly District 36 is overwhelmingly Republican with a nearly two-to-one advantage over Democrats. So Hoff's expected to win the seat and go to Carson City in 2019. Now, I'll have much more of that interview with Hoff on Politics Now this week. Join me and Patrick Walker, 4.30 p.m. Saturday for that. We'll also post the full interview online after theirs. So fascinating. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, Steve.